Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use quizzes with your Google Classroom. For those of you who've never used quizzes before, quizzes is a fun online uh, game where there are lots of pre-made questions that your pupils can use for virtually any subject. Usually they're multiple choice or they don't have to be. And it's a nice way that the pupils can answer questions in your subject. Um, you can get a little bit of idea of their, their progress and understanding and then you can take those answers forward into your mark book in Google Classroom. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and we're going to Google quizzes. Now, as with many other pieces of software, you can log in with your Google account. Sign up for an account, hit sign up in the top right. And again, you're going to sign up with Google, whether that be your own personal Google account or your school Google account. You can use either of those as you wish. You'll get an activation link. I'll just do that and come back in a minute. Okay, once I've activated it and then given my screen, then I need to link up my Google Classroom. First thing I want to do is just use a quiz. It's probably the easiest way to get it going. So I'll just go with this geometry shapes one here. And then I'm going to assign it as homework. I'm going to host the game. You can set different time parameters and things like that. And then the key thing here, do you see you've got the Google Classroom logo just right there. If you hit this share link, it will then connect up with your Google Classroom. And again, you can just link up the two and there'll be a series of windows with permissions Quizzes wants to access your Google account, you're giving Quizzes basically permission to write and read from your Google account. And then you are ready to go. So if I want to look for something on density, I might write in the word density, and it will then show me all the quizzes that there are on density. Now I'm just going to choose one, I'm not going to check it for integrity but you can um, go through and do that so you could hit practice um, if you wanted to do it as a practice one um, or challenge I'm going to hit practice for now just have a quick look at it and then you can play play the quiz and then this is kind of what it likes when the pupils you know play the game. Okay, so that gives you an idea of that. Once you are logged in, this is what your main screen looks like. You can search for any different types of quizzes using the box at the top here to do with your subject. But the key thing you want to look for is your teacher dashboard. And your teacher dashboard is where you store quizzes that you may give to pupils or where you can um, make your own and it will give you recommended quizzes as well for your for your subjects so um, if I find a quiz I want to do let's see this geometry one and I want to assign it to pupils now if you're in a classroom you could play it live and they can do it with you however in the days of uh, remote learning you're probably more likely to set it as something that they're not going to do at the same time so you can do assign homework and then you're going to host the game, you can set the date by which you want it to happen so you can give them a deadline and then you can assign it to a class. Now the great thing with quizzes is it links to your Google Classroom so I can choose any of my classes and I can assign that to them, set the schedule, next and when I hit assign game, that will send that game to all the pupils in Google Classroom. The other settings that you can attempt to do, how many student attempts there are, 
do the people see the game answers? Um, do the people see the answers at the end of the game? I usually tick that yes, because um, uh, because I want the pupils to see what they get wrong and then learn for the second time that they do um, the quiz through. And then there's lots of things you can have here. Power-ups, are they allowed to get sort of second chances and extra features? The pupils love that. Um, the timer um, for each question, so they just can't go on forever. Um, is there a leaderboard that they see? Yes, the, they manage the leaderboard quite well. Um, shuffling the questions is a good idea. Um, and shuffling the answer options so it's not always in the same one that they select. Redemption question is they get to go back and redo a question they got wrong. Play music, yeah, that's a good one. And, and showing memes. When you're all happy with that, you can click assign and the pupils can go. Now it may be that you, there isn't a quiz that's suitable for your subject and what you want to do is create a new quiz. So you can hit the button at the top here, create new quiz. And you can call it a, a quiz name. I'm going to call mine Coasts. Actually, I'm going to call it Coastal Processes. Okay, Geography. And I'm going to click Next. Now, there are lots of different types of quizzes you can do. You've got the multiple choice, checkbox, fill in the blanks, open ended questions, or poll questions. I'm going to go with a multiple choice question. So I'm going to put in what process causes sand to move along beaches. The actual answer is going to be longshore drift. But I might put in some other answers, answers like wave action, uh, swash, and I might put in uh, prevailing wind. Okay, the correct answer is longshore drift. I'm going to save that. And that question goes into it's the first question on my quiz. Now, the beautiful thing that you can do is you can import questions from other people. And you can see this teleport question thing at the top here. It's immediately gone looking for coastal processes written in other people's quizzes that are held on quizzes. So I can just go through and look at other people's quizzes that have got the term coastal processes in. And if I find a question that I like, I can click Add. And that question will get added into my quiz. So I don't have to go around and just create lots of other little questions. Let's just check that's gone in. Yeah, so there it's gone in there. And so let's just do let's do a different one. Let's do hydraulic keeps disappearing, sorry. Hydraulic action. Uh, there's one here in river processes that might be relevant. Really, I'm looking for something with coasts, but let's just let's check. Um, okay, that one would work. When rocks bang together, becoming rounder, smaller, and smoother, the actual answer is attrition. It's got hydraulic action in there. That's relevant to my quiz, so I'm going to add that one in there. Okay. Again, when you get to the end, um, you can uh, finish the quiz. You might want to give it a picture, um, give it some sort of grades. No. So once I've got my quiz there ready to go, hit the share the link, I go to a little Google Classroom, and it will then share it to my class. There's my test class. And then I hit save, and it will uh, another one to go into. I assign it to the test class, and it will then populate my Google Classroom with that quiz. So when the pupils next log on, they don't have to go to quizzes. It's just there 
on their Google Classroom. So let's have a look at what that looks like in reality. So in Google Classroom, you can now see that I have populated the quiz and the link there for the pupils to go to is there. They click on that and they join the game. Now the results from that will then be posted. You go into classwork, you go to my quizzes game, okay, view the assignment. If I had lots of students populated here, their names would appear here and their scores would appear here as well and you can then track what they've done. So that is there how it integrates.